Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we look at various art books and magazines and hopefully inside of this one little Dennis is going to help us get inside of it it should be issue number 21 of the Character Design Quarterly magazine let's go and have a look at this one then <laughs> So little Dennis is going to let us in on this one, but before we do, I've got the last issue that we had, which was issue number 20, and I've also got my favourite cover of all of them, which was issue number 6, by the artist Loish, and I still am, I still think that's my favourite, but last the last issue was so beautiful, and I've noticed something, that they've both got very similar sort of... Um, covers in that you've got a character with lots of sort of energy around the character but the question is my favorite thing about all of the well character design quarterly magazine is my favorite favorite art magazine and art books and things little dennis can let us in though he loves doing this dun, dun, dun. yay <laughs> he's got his little weapon the question is what colour is it? What colour do you reckon? I'm thinking I want it to be a ooh, it looks like a green one. I was gonna say I want it to be a red one. It's a green one. What's this look? We've got little feathers. Oh cool. Yay! Oh yeah. <laughs> oh beautiful bright green look. That's one of the things I love about these, when you put them all together, it just looks so beautiful. Oh, he's a cool character, isn't he? Still thinking that's my favourite, though. But what a cool character. And a very strange... A very strange, but sort of magical colour combination. Because it's sort of like... Um, it's somehow like a golden... It's almost like the darkness has got a golden glow to it or something. It's a beautiful use of colour, that is. <laughs> and he's a cool character because he looks a bit funny. He looks a bit naughty. What does he look like when you put him out? Oh, he, I like him. I like his shape. Look, and he's just eating a butterfly. <laughs> character Design Quarterly is a lively, creative magazine bringing inspiration, expert insights and leading techniques to professional illustrators artists and character design enthusiasts worldwide character design quarterly 21 dun, dun, dun. so little dennis is going to let us in on this one he loves doing this plop yeah look i love that green it's a really nice green what have we got here look space helmets <laughs> space helmets I'm not sure if the camera's gone a bit weird. I feel like it might have gone a bit out of focus there. Eh? What I have to do is, um, sometimes it does this. That's better. Oh, cool characters here, look. I like the way that's going like that, look. It's just like a big, long, sexy curve. He's cool, he is. Emma Le Boffer. Wish you could feel the paper on this. This one, this paper here is like glossy. This paper here has got a, um, a roughness to it. it. Oh, that's cool, that is. It's only those two pages. They've got like a texture to them. I wonder if you can see it on the... Probably not. This is part of the, the fun experience with character design quarterly magazines though. Oh, this artist. Oh, see, I want to look into this artist. We've got like an eagle mixed with a cat. There's, there's a real... Um, a real sort of magical vibe to these characters. 
Yeah, they, they all feel like they exist in the same world, which is nice. It's a world of animals. Animals without humans. It should be nice. I might actually, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I think I'm going <laughs> to, little Dennis's weapon, get, getting in the way. Crafting the critter. That's a cool word, isn't it? Critter. He looks very mischievous to me. He does. Mischievous. Oh, cool. An apprentice witch's first day look. Oh, I love, I love these magazines. The character witch. Apprentice. Oh, I like the way they've done that. Sketchbook. Little sketches here. Some of these sketches look. Silhouette shapes look. There's some, there's a, there's a, some sort of like funness in these. They come right through the um, entire process here. This is cool. Prop to your drop. <laughs> Look, they're even designing the props. That's cool. That is. This is probably one of the best. Articles. I've seen in one of these for ages. It looks very thorough. That's interesting, isn't it? Different colours. Characterise this. Turning a vehicle into a character. That's quite interesting actually because I'm not normally into vehicles but that's quite fun. Meet the artist, Carlos Luzzi. Cool. Very nice fun shapes. He reminds me of someone he does. I'm not sure, it might be the Scarecrow off of Wizard of Oz. I like that character. Hmm. Piggy look. That's a cool weapon as well. That's what I mean, the props are very important for telling a story as well. Jan Wong, stylizing your art. What beautiful, I remember this one with the flying fishies, I've seen that before. I mean, what beautiful, what beautiful characters these are. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Amazing now. How to stylize characters. I like that pose. Very nice gestures going on here. Poses, look. That's quite interesting. Look, it's, sort of, it's actually giving you um Guidance as well on the poses, which is nice. Creating a face. I 
Oh, I like these trousers. Hey, what's happened to this? I like his trousers, look. I think I'm gonna just reset this camera actually because it's getting a bit it's getting a bit silly today. Dun 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 <laughs> hopefully that'll be a bit better. I think the standout for this is his trousers. <laughs> A bit weird, isn't it? But I like his trousers. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, foxes. I love me foxes. That's quite an interesting um, shape. Makes him look a sort of um, almost like a a human somehow, like a human mixed with a fox. Oh, that's quite interesting as well. They're playing around with like the um, the feel of the thing. <laughs> oh, cool! This is a very fun, a very fun article. Tame and wild. Yeah, this be interesting. To see, hopefully they'll explain. This is one of those where you'd like to talk to the artist. So I don't feel like you're going to be able to get enough enough information out of that bit there. I like what they're doing, comparing the same character, different styles. Meek, Miki, Shinidia. Yay! I remember that one. That was in one of the other ones. Bing! Look at that look, beautiful shapes. Yeah, really beautiful shapes again. I remember this one having a really nice... They did really nice faces. Like there's a sort of... Um, it's simple. It's almost like one big shape. But it's still got the details in it. It's very friendly. Yay, look, Dennis's favourite at the gallery. <laughs> Give him that. That's a nice one. I like that as well. But he's crying. Oh, they're nice. How cool are these, look? Hmm. <laughs> these face, look. These are beautiful. Baba Yaga. <laughs> Baba Yaga. What a weird, a weird shape. Looks like a nut. The whole character is in, in like a nut. Lost in space, look. I like that, huh? Nice and simple, that is. Imagine if that did happen, like a big creature come into the solar system and we suddenly in the sky there was a massive creature like looking at us. Be a bit weird, wouldn't it? The thing is that might be happening, but because we're so you know that thing where if you get so close to something you can't see what it is, you have to zoom out. It might be that if we were able to zoom out, we would actually see in the sky a creature. There's some really nice looking articles in this one. They remind me of the guys from um, Pixel Junk Shooter. The little um, space space things. Cool, I like these. 
I like it when they do that as well, you get different different colours. They're all talking about props as well. That's interesting, isn't it? Yay! That's my favourite, one of my favourite bits this is, when you see the little artists. I like how you sort of, um, you sort of like somehow, I feel like you connect with the artist when you see him. There's the two, two little naughty space helmets again. Dun, dun, dun. That, was a, that was one of the best issues so far, I feel like, for articles. It's got like articles that I really want to jump into. And lots of beautiful things. Some of the stuff in here was amazing. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that. That was issue number 21 of the Character Design Quarterly magazine. <laughs> With a little Dennis. And I shall see you later for another one. time of the year it's the most wonderful time of the year